Hello friends, this is Varupa. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain about the simplex method where the objective function is in maximization and that maximization function is subject to three constraints. Before going to explain that, please do subscribe my channel. Solve the following LPP using simplex method. Maximize z is equals to 4x1 plus 10x2 subject to 2x1 plus x2 is less than or equals to 50 2x1 plus 5x2 is less than or equals to 100 2x1 plus 3x2 is less than or equals to 90 where x1 comma x2 are greater than or equals to 0. The objective function is maximization. Maximize z equals to 4x1 plus 10x2 we have to convert these three constraints into equalities in the process of converting we have to introduce the slack variables in the three uh, equations 2x1 plus x2 plus s1 is equals to 50 2x1 plus 5x2 plus s2 equals to 100 2x1 plus 3x2 plus s3 is equals to 90 where x1 comma x2 comma s1 comma s2 comma s3 are greater than or equals to 0. Suppose the given constraints are in this form the right hand side value should be positive. So for that we have to change like this. This is first equation, this is second equation, this is third equation. We have to change second equation we have to multiply with minus 1 minus 2x1 minus 5x2 is less than or equals to 100 we have to uh, change like this the second equation we should add these three uh, variables in the objective function with the value of 0 that means 4x1 plus 10x2 plus 0s1 plus 0s2 plus 0 s3 this is the objective function next we have to find the initial basic feasible table this is the initial basic feasible table here cb mean coefficient of basic variable cj is the coefficient of basic variable and this is bv means basic variables x1 coefficient is in the objective function x1 coefficient is 4 x2 coefficient is 10, s1 coefficient is 0, s2 coefficient is 0, s2 co uh, s3 coefficient is 0. And the slack variables we have introduced are s1, s2 and s3. The coefficient of these three variables are s1 is 0, s2 is 0 and s3 is 0. In the object in the constraints, uh, the coefficients are 2x1 plus 1x2 and in the first equation it is having s1 so the coefficient is 1 and s2 coefficient is 0 and s3 coefficient is 0 and the solution is 50. The coefficient of x1 is 2, coefficient of x2 is 5, coefficient of uh, s1 is 0 and s2 is 1 and s3 is 0. Coefficient of x1 is 2, coefficient of x2 is 3 s1 is 0 and s2 is 0 and s3 is 1 here the solution for second equation is 100 and the third equation is 90 now we have to find the zj value zj value means 0 into 2 plus 0 into 2 plus 0 into 2 0 0 into 1 plus 0 into 5 plus 0 into 3 0 0 into 1 plus 0 into 0 plus 0 into 0 0 0 into 0 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 into 0 0 into 0 plus 0 into 0 plus 0 into 1 0 0 into 50 plus 0 into 100 plus 0 into 90 0 next we have to find out the cj minus zj value cj means these values zj means these values 4 minus 0 4 10 minus 0 
टेन जीरो माइनस जीरो 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 माइनस जीरो 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 माइनस जीरो जीरो सॉरी हियर फॉर मैक्सिमाइजेशन प्रॉब्लम सी जे माइनस जेड जे इज लेस देन और इक्वल्स टू जीरो फॉर मिनिमाइजेशन प्रॉब्लम सी जे माइनस जेड जे ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल्स टू जीरो नाउ चेक द सी जे माइनस जेड जे वैल्यू दिस इज मैक्सिमाइजेशन प्रॉब्लम सो ऑल सी जे माइनस जेड जे वैल्यू शुड बी लेस देन और इक्वल्स टू जीरो बट हियर दीज टू वैल्यूज आर नॉट लेस देन आर इक्वल्स टू जीरो दे आर ग्रेटर देन आर इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द नेक्स्ट आइट्रेशन टेबल फॉर फाइंडिंग द आइट्रेशन टेबल वी हैव टू फाइंड द की एलिमेंट फॉर फाइंडिंग द की एलिमेंट वी हैव टू फाइंड द लिविंग रो लिविंग रो एंड लिविंग कॉलम फॉर दैट वी हैव टू चेक द मोस्ट पॉजिटिव वैल्यू इन सी जे माइनस जेड जे This is the most positive value. So this is the entering variable. And now we have to check the leaving variable. For that we have to find the ratio. How we have to find the ratio means solution divided by the key column. That means fifty divided by one, hundred divided by five, ninety divided by three. Fifty divided by one is equals to fifty. Hundred divided by five is equals to twenty. Ninety divided by three is equals to thirty. For finding the leaving variable, we have to find the most least value in the ratio. This is the least value. So this is called the leaving variable and this is this 5 is called the key element so now we have to find the next iteration table this is the iteration table 1 and we have written x2 here because s2 is the leaving variable and we have written x1 because it is the entering variable so how we have to find the x2 value means how we have to write the x2 value means we have to divide the uh, old values with the key value so 2 divided by 5 2 by 5 5 divided by 5 1 0 divided by 5 0 1 divided by 5 1 by 5 0 divided by 5 0 Hundred divided by five, twenty. How we have to find the S one and S three value means there is a formula. This is the formula for uh, writing the new values of S one and S three. That means old value divided by key element. Here. For S one, uh, old value is two, and the key element is five. That means two by five. Here one, and the key value is five. So one by five, one divided by five, one by five, zero divided by five, zero, zero divided by five, zero, fifty divided by five, ten. And how to write the S three value means? Two divided by five, two by five. Three divided by five, three by five. Zero divided by five, zero. Zero divided by five, zero. One divided by five, one by five. Ninety divided by five. Ninety divided by five is equals to eighteen. And next, we have to find the z z values. Zero into two by five plus ten into two by five plus zero into two by five. That means four. Zero into one by five plus ten into one plus zero into three by five. That means ten. Zero into one by five plus ten into zero plus zero into zero zero. Zero into zero plus ten into one by five plus zero into zero. That means two. 
0 into 0 plus 10 into 0 plus 0 into 1 by 5 0 next we have to find the cj minus zj values 4 minus 4 0 10 minus 10 0 0 minus 0 0 0 minus 2 minus 2 0 minus 0 0 so now we have to check the optimality condition the optimality condition for maximization is cj minus zj should be less than or equals to 0 that means all the cj minus zj values should be 0 or less than 0 so the condition is satisfied and here we have we didn't find the zj values we, we should find the zj value here 0 into 10 plus 10 into 20 plus 0 into 18 that means 200 here the condition is satisfied so the optimum value is 200 we can check the optimum solution value by substituting the x2 value in the objective function what we have got x2 value means 20 so given objective function is max z is equals to 4x1 plus 10x2 that's all and we got the solution as 200 we have to substitute x2 is equals to 20 and there is no x1 and uh, there is no x1 only x2 x2 value is 20 that means x1 is equals to 0 and x2 is equals to 20 4 into 0 plus 10 into 20 that is equals to 0 plus 200 that is equals to 200 so it satisfies so this is called the optimum solution z of optimum is equals to 200 so this is about the simplex method which involves the three constraints